Daniel Constantine Marino. Happy birthday. Dan Marino was a, a Miami Dolphin for life. But he, he came out of uh, Pittsburgh. He was born in Pittsburgh. He was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and um, attended the University of Pittsburgh, uh, which is Tony Dorsett's alma mater. He won a national championship at Pitt. And even though he won a national championship at Pitt the year before, didn't do so quite well uh, his last year. When the draft came along, the NFL draft, there were five other quarterbacks taken ahead of Dan Marino. And one of them, one of them uh, was drafted by the New England Patriots. So I'm sure you guys might know of this guy's name. Tony Eason was drafted Eason. ahead of Dan Marino. Wow. That, well, that was considered one of the best quarterback drafts. Really? Because let me name some names here. We know Jim Kelly. We know John Elway. And only we in the New England area know of Tony Eason. But there's two other guys that oh. just completely bombed out. Um, Todd Black legend, Ken O'Brien. Todd Black legend, Ken O'Brien. I mean, and even Tony Eason were drafted ahead of Dan Marino. But Marino was the 27th pick of the first round. He dropped the number 27. <laughs> but he was a I, I, you can't, I can't. We can't make this up. It's actually true. Um, yeah. So he comes in. He has a pretty good rookie year. Really does. He sets some, does some things and sets some single game records in, in his rookie year. But there was another guy who came in with that class of rookies. His name was Eric Dickerson. And he oh, ran yeah. for 2,000 yards. Oh, yeah. Mr. Eric Dickerson. That dude was a speedster, man. And uh, so Marino does. Marino, Marino misses out on the <laughs> rookie of the year. I mean, this guy's life is just. It's, it's a good thing he persevered because he had to persevere a lot. Wins the national championship, and then he gets drafted behind uh, five other quarterbacks. Comes in, has a pretty good year, but he has a guy named Eric Dickinson who comes in during the rookie year and rushes for 2,000 yards, so he's not going to win the rookie year. Second year, he broke six NFL full-season passing records, and he played in the Super Bowl. But he played against the San Francisco 49ers and Joe Montana. Oh, not that. Yeah, not, yeah, that. Which means he <laughs> lost the Super Bowl. He had been selected to play nine Pro Bowls upon his retirement, named to um, first or second All Pro six times and earned AFC honors six times. I think he was uh, also an MVP, but he never was able to get over the hump and win the Super Bowl. And you know what? I'm going to say a prayer for you tonight because, you know, you could have used. A couple of prayers when you were playing against uh, Joe Montana and uh, the rookie season, you had Eric Dickerson as, <laughs> as your, you know, a guy who's, who's, who's vying for the rookie of the year. Eric Dickerson runs for 2,000 yards his first season. No, you're not going to beat that. So, Dan Marino, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Dan Marino.